Hello everyone, Dane here. It is currently 9.45pm on Sunday the 3rd of January. It's the start of another weekly reading vlog. I'm currently reading A Decent Ride by Irvin Welsh. I'm over halfway now, I'm probably about 200 pages to go. So I'm hoping to finish that either tomorrow or the day after. Um, then I might have a little palate cleanser with this uh, Agatha Christie Mary Westmacott book I've got, which is one of the books she wrote under a pseudonym. Uh, ah, I've got hair in my mouth. And then I should probably pick up Soulless by Gail Carragher because I'm doing like a buddy read of that with Susie. Basically I need to read that and also I've got uh, Jurassic Park coming in the post. So I need to read both of those so we can discuss them together. Baby, Susie made delicious food while I was skiving off. Are well, you were doing an interview for your radio show? Yes, and I did help with some of the food and found the recipe. It looks good. Hello! It is currently the 7th of January, Thursday the 7th of January. It's 9.20pm. Um, I've slacked off a bit on filming recently, but I have been doing some editing, so that is all good, and uh, planning a few bits ahead. Susie came over yesterday, so we had a nice chilled evening, and then I interviewed a band called Superlord for the art show, so that'll be coming soon. Uh, I've also finished reading A Decent Ride by Irvin Welsh, which I gave probably a 4.5 out of 5 to. I thought it was very good. Uh, I finished solving the Rubik's Cube for my Rubik's Cube video. What else have I done? I've read some books, so I need to show you. So I read both of these. I read this one as a bedtime book, Je vole comme un patate by Didier Levy and Nutrika. I just switched language there without meaning to. Um, and yeah, this is a book in French, it means I fly like a potato, except it's like a slang word for potato, like, and also like dumb, so I fly like a dummy, but potato, uh, and it's for kids to help kids learn to read, and I enjoyed it, probably like a 3.5 out of 5, uh, and I also read Anouka Car, Anna and Frogger, Thrill Spills and Gooseberries, so uh, Anouka Card is a French author, and uh, this is translated into English. A few of her Anna and Frogger books have been translated into English. So it's kind of interesting for me to read it in English when I'm so used to reading her in French. But I think they did a really good job of like just getting a sense of humour across and overall I gave this one a 4 out of 5. So I'm now currently reading Soulless by Gail Carragher which I'm reading because I, I'm doing it as like a bit of a buddy read. Well not really a buddy read. Uh, Susie and I for Lord Literature and Madam Media are going to be swapping TBRs, so that's one that she read, so now I'm going to read it. Uh, and I'm about a third of the way in, and it's okay so far. I didn't like it too much to begin with because the writing style kind of grated on me a bit, but I think I've got more used to it now. There are bits I like, bits I don't like, but overall it's it's okay. Um, she did say that a sound had been designed by evolution, which I think requires a fundamental misunderstanding of the way that evolution works. But hey ho! <laughs> Hello, it's me. I totally forgot to mention that I also read Absent in the Spring by Agatha Christie, uh, writing as Mary Westmacott. So this is one of the books she wrote under her pseudonym. Basically in this one, someone's traveling through the desert and their camel breaks down. That's not exactly what happened, but it gives you a gist of what's happening. And um, she spends a lot of time by herself in introversion and stuff. And we sort of follow basically her as she goes a little bit nuts. And uh, yeah, like on her first day, she runs out of ink and paper so she can't write any letters and so she's got no distractions and all that stuff. A lot of fun. Here are the croissants. Everything, uh, sorry, the pan au chocolat. Everything else is in the fridge. Au revoir. Hello everybody, not too much to update you on today. It is Tuesday the 12th of January. Susie was supposed to be coming over earlier but because of my weird sleep schedule, I was up till half six in the morning and then slept till like 4 p.m. so I wasn't actually ready for her to come over. But I have finished cleaning the house this evening and so should be good to see her tomorrow. I've made some pizza dough, I've also made some uh, crispy kale, which is very tasty. Uh, I've been reading Jurassic Park still, I'm right by the end now, I have like 40 pages to go. It's alright, um, probably, I mean I'm near enough to the end now that I think I can give it a rating. It's a 3.5 in my old system, it might have uh, got a 3.75 out of 5, but at the moment I only have star icons for 0.5 increments, so it's going to get 3.5 out of 5. And next up I'm going to be reading uh, Survivor by Chuck Paulinick, so I'm looking forward to that. Hello, it's your boy Dane Reads. Uh, I have finished reading Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. A full review will be coming soon. Oh, it's, um, what day is it? Wednesday the 13th of January. Um, yeah, Jurassic Park was alright. It was a bit of a slow burner to begin with. It felt a bit as though it was sort of 
bottom end heavy so nothing much happened for the first 150 pages and then loads happened in the last 100 or so. Um, yeah, I, I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. I put it in my tier list. It's better than um, it's better than Jaws by Peter Blent Benchley, but not as good as The Rats by James Herbert. Please do keep your eyes peeled on Lord Literature and Madam Media on YouTube, uh, where Susie and I will be discussing it. Uh, and now I'm currently reading Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. I'm on page 100. I'm on page 172, but that doesn't mean much because the pages in this run backwards. Uh, it's kind of gimmicky, but I think it works. Uh, it's based on the fact that um, the guy's telling the story is basically this is the survivor of this death cult, and uh, he's hijacked a plane and he's telling his story to the black box on the plane. So that's why the pages count backwards. I'm enjoying it so far and I'll give you a further update later. Uh, Susie's coming over this evening. I went out early to do my walk and posted all of my eBay stuff. So caught up on all of that, which is good. The house is all clean and tidy. And I've prepped pizza, dough balls with like homemade dough and stuff. And uh, crispy kale. And that's for our dinner tonight. And then also some pado chocolat for breakfast. So we might even watch Jurassic Park later, we'll see. Um, and I'm probably gonna give her a massage and we're just gonna chill and then hopefully have a reasonably early night because I've been up since 4 p.m. yesterday and it's now about 4 p.m. today. So that tells you how my sleeping pattern's doing. But yeah, uh, so th that's where we're at, we're all good. Uh, and I'm expecting a bunch of cool stuff to come from eBay soon. Hello, people of the internet. Dane and Biggie here. It's Friday, isn't it, Biggie? With you, Friday the Friday the fifteenth. No, it's got to be Friday the eighth. Maybe this Friday the fifteenth. Man, time is going quickly. You want to go down? All right, we put you down. Uh, what's new? I finished reading Jurassic Park. I finished reading Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. So, uh, video of that coming soon. Oh yeah, I've shaved my face slightly. Uh, when every now and then my, my it gets too long and then it starts to give Susie a face rash, so we don't want that. So yeah, um, I've started reading The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I mean, I have around here some actually. I've already taken it through, but uh, Asterix Le Gaulois, which is the first of the Asterix graphic novels, um, which I read in the original French, and I think I must have read it in English before because I remember the storyline. But I did very much enjoy reading that. So Asterix the Gaulois, mm -hmm. that was a solid yeah, 5 out of 5 from me. Uh, Survivor, a, a solid there. probably 4.5, that was pretty good as well. And I'm now reading The Last Tycoon by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which I believe is like an incomplete novel. It wasn't quite finished by the time he died. Um, but he did leave like notes by on how it should be finished. So hobbits. that's very cool. I've um, no. done my back in, so that's why I've not updated for a few days. It's still really bad, but... Um, I don't know what happened, I went to the art centre to check on something and my back just kind of went uh, and then I started having a panic attack because of it because it's so bad that the pain like it shoots me like I can feel it kind of down all the way like that going all across like that so it does go across my heart a bit, it goes across my lungs and I'm just there like oh god what's going on but I'm pretty sure I'm, it's just a muscle that I've pulled but um, yeah so I rang both Susie and my mum while both of them were at work being like please can you help me I'm having a panic attack because I can't breathe but I got through it and then yeah Susie came over last night and looked after me and we had a takeaway from Wagamama um, and I'm feeling a bit better today I've actually been asleep I slept well last night and then I've been asleep most of today as well I think my body's just healing um, but yeah still very sore but better than I was and it's prompted me to quit smoking because I felt terrible and I don't want to die so I'm on uh, 36 hours without a ciggy, which is good. I do have my vapes going, but that's re That's fine. So that's pretty much where I'm at, and I'm going to go and read some more F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm going to do some more work and stuff tonight. I don't know what my sleep is going to look like. And then I think Susie's going to have a productive morning tomorrow, and we're going to go from there. One other thing, actually. I also got these in the post, which are very cool. I asked my friend Calculator to do me a couple of logos. So this is the one for the art show on Wickham Sound. And this one here is socialbookshelves.com. So I've got a couple of new logos for my properties. Hello, it is me. It is currently Sunday, Sunday the 17th of January. I have a few books to update you on. I also have a little bit of peanut stuck in my mouth. Mmm. Well, well. Mmm. Ah. That teach me to eat peanuts before I start filming, I guess. So, as I say, it's Sunday. 
Susie came over this weekend and we filmed the, the uh, Jurassic Park bit of our latest video. So there's a new video now on Lord Literature and Madam Media. I'm going to end this vlog with a clip of that so you can check that out if you want to. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. So we filmed that and we were editing that yesterday and today. And then she headed home today to have a productive day. I've been doing the same, doing a lot of editing, some eBay listing. We've now between us sorted through all the vinyls that I bought in this job lot so I can start selling some of those. Uh, I finished reading Survivor by Chuck Paulinick. I gave this one a pretty solid 4, maybe even a 4.5 out of 5. Um, yeah, great book, would recommend. Then I read The Last Tycoon by F. Scott Fitzgerald. It's like an unfinished novel. And because of that, it was kind of weird. Like the second, well, probably like the last third of the book was literally just his notes uh, on where the book was supposed to go. So you're kind of there reading it. And it's like you've just, it's like reading the first six chapters of Oliver Twist followed by the spark notes summary of the rest of it um, but yeah it was okay probably I can't give it any more than a three out of five because of how unfinished it was uh, unfortunately but I am still glad I read it and now I'm reading The Eyes of Heisenberg by Frank Herbert author of Dune so this is all about like genetic engineering and stuff um, yeah there are like these the humanity's got these new classes now basically where you have some who are immortal and some live longer than others and time is being used to, like as a bargaining tool basically very political and stuff um, not hugely interesting but it's not hugely long either um, you can see I've, t I've tapped like seven things in it or something which is probably below average for me when you compare it to these two so uh, yeah it was alright I can probably rate it now as a 3.5 out of 5 so that brings us to the end of this week. Tomorrow I have some diversity training for Wickham Arts Centre, so that should be interesting. Um, yeah, prepping the next radio show. As I said, doing a lot of filming at the moment, doing a lot of eBay listing. And now I'm gonna share with you, uh, this is the start of the video I did with Susie. And uh, yeah, if you go check out the full thing, I dressed up as a woman. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we both got very dirty and covered in mud for the jungle bits of uh, Jurassic Park. So yeah, check that out. I'll see you next week. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. So what should we film today? I'm reading. You shush. I mean, we could do what those very cute... YouTubers sometimes do where they swap their TBRs and their boyfriend reads the girlfriend's TBR and vice versa. That's a thing. Care to explain that particular acronym for the people aren't familiar? Well, TBR stands for to be read, so we'd swap what books we're about to read. Nice exposition. Thank you, I wrote it myself. So, what are you reading? Oh, I'm reading Changeless. It's the second book in a series of five where it's like steampunky and there's vampires and werewolves in it and there's a love story and it's really quite funny too. Sounds terrible. Have you got book one? You know I do. You wrote this script. Well, book number one it is. So what are you reading? I am reading uh, Black Holes and Baby Universes and Other Essays by Stephen Hawking. Reading anything else? Bien sûr, uh, The Hobbit par J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Uh, je l'ai reçu de mon ami Charles Heathcote. Oh, oui. Anything else? I've got Jurassic Park. That'll do. Well now, let's see. We've got a Victorian London backdrop. I'm in a very pretty but basically anachronous co costume. Now this must be the soulless review. Oh, that means Dane's around here somewhere. Oh, maybe he's dressed as Lord McCun, the dashing, ravishing, Scottish alpha werewolf male. Oh, I'm gonna need a fan for the... Hello, darling. Hi, sweetheart. You look beautiful. So do you. 